What is up guys, Andrew with Nose TV here, and today we are gonna finally get to test out this 40 watt flexible solar panel from Flex Solar. So I got this about a week ago. It's been super cloudy. Um, excited to take it out now it's finally sunny, test it out, kind of see what all the stuff it can charge up, how we're gonna use it, and we'll talk about what we've been using uh, in comparison to this. So let's get out, let's go test this thing up and see how it does. So it's a little windy, so I'm gonna, what's probably gonna happen is I'm gonna kind of show you real quick uh, what we've been using, uh, kind of how this folds out, and then it'll all be a voiceover. We'll just video it all up. So what we've been using, and the reason I'm super excited, I can probably get out of it, what we've been using for like the backpacking stuff is this small, see this right here? It is a seven watt uh, Go Zero Nomad. And so seven watts, not a lot of power. Um, and as I get more filming outdoors, I need more and more power to keep everything charged up. And we'll show you what all we'll be charging. But, so I reached out to Flex Solar because I'm like, these flexible solar panels can have a huge impact on what we're able to charge in the back country. And so if you look at it, size-wise, it's a little bigger, right? Not crazy, probably about a uh, two by two taller. So two inches taller, two inches wider. Um, but it folds out so much. So again, it's getting really windy. I'm just gonna show you how it folds out and we'll voice over the rest of it, but I'm super excited for this. All right, so we're back at home. Let's talk a little bit more about what this thing has. So it had on the back where your plug-in is, it's got uh, standard USB and then USB type C, which is becoming the standard and it really should be, but it, it's bulk it up. And then you have a DC output. So the biggest thing that I thought that I need to figure out how to do and I haven't done it yet is to figure out how to uh, attach this one or couple it with like the existing solar panels that I have um, to maybe increase that load. But like I said earlier, the ones we've been using before, I used this Nomad 7 to 7 watt. Um, you can see how much it folds out to so when you compare that seven watts that we have been using, now having the ability to access 40 watts, it's almost, you know, it's, it's a ton, so much more, almost six times more power from a little bit larger. So size-wise, th think of this like a, uh, like a sheet of paper almost, because it's about eight and a half by, uh, oh, sorry, eight and a half by 11, whereas this one, the flex cell you can see, or the Go Zero one, about an inch smaller each way, about, about an inch shorter, an inch lot, not as wide. And so even if you even if you take your, your your size of this and fold it out, how much larger it is, it does, it's easy on your backpack. This one would have been a lot better for while you're traveling, I think, um, but it's still not producing the amount of power that you're getting out of this other one. And so you're gonna use this one, let me fold it out. It's, again, it's huge, it unfolds. I don't know if you're, you probably wanna go see it all in the video. All the way across, it's got one, two, three, it's got six panels. Um, but the one thing that's completely different is how they're integrated. This this is like together. Like it is the flex the flex panels, the solar panels and this flex so flexible solar panel are actually a part of the material that is folding. Whereas here it's almost like you had the solar panel that was under a protective coating that was inside protective. It's always like inside in different parts, different components. The flex solar is one big thing, which I think helps reduce on wear and tear, helps reduce on the, uh, what helps re helps with re weather resistance, and just keeps it um, lighter than if you had all, the, all those extra things with there. Now it is it is considerably heavier than your other one, but it's a lot larger, and so it's always going to be what are you wanting to use this for. Right, so when are you going to need this amount of power? So with us, we need the amount of power because we're charging a lot of stuff when we're in backpacking, when we're doing these backpacking and hiking trips. We are charging uh, headlamps, we're charging our weather radio, we are charging the Goal Zero battery pack, which I said earlier that we need to kind of replace. Um, but we're also gonna be charging, charging, charging on that drone, uh, our drone, controller, our, our battery packs for our cameras, our GoPro. We're charging so much stuff that the extra weight that we get from carrying this flexible solar panel is just standard, right? Now, I've never been a person or a camper who's like ultralight. Um, that, that's a completely different type of backpacking that I, I, I just don't, not that I wouldn't enjoy it, but that's just not the kind of camper and 
that packer I am. I'm not a big luxury kind of person. Like I have to have it in clamping and all that stuff, but I, I enjoy it all. Like I enjoy being able to charge my phone, take the GoPro. I like the photography and video videography part of it. And this helps to make sure that that is something that stays with us as we're doing all our backpacking. Now, I'm a bigger guy. Um, and so typically my packs are a lot larger and I don't have any trouble carrying those packs, even for short trips. Like I can do a, a 30 pound pack when I'm just taking out for the weekend, you know, that's, that's a, not that, that's a, not that big of a pack for me. And I can carry it without any issues. Um, and so when I add this to it, whenever I do all my, the numbers and stuff that I want to carry and take stuff, uh, this just, this fits right into it. So the extra weight is not something that I'm going to, I don't freak out about. Um, but the extra power is something I forget about. It's, it's, it was pretty impressive, like how quickly, I mean, obviously you just unfold it. It's got a couple straps here where you could hook, it's got, it came with some carabiners. You could hook it to the, your Jeep, hook it to your tent. Um, basically anytime that you're setting up your camp, this is when you're going to deploy this flexible solar panel. Now, like I said, the other one that we've used, the Nomad 7, you could put it on your backpack while you're hiking and it could charge up your device. That's, that's still, you know, a possibility if we're de depending on the power usage we're going to be doing and how much sun we're going to have during the winter most of the time we're going to get to our site probably um and not have a lot of sunlight left and so taking that with us may be a little nicer especially if we're doing a long hike during the day uh if it's during the summer when you have you know close to 15 hours of light available you can have this thing charging while you're um, packing up in the morning or when you get to your next spot even if you've hiked for 10 miles you're probably going to have an area where you're going to have three or four hours to just set this thing up get things charging um, we can also also you can take this when we go with our rooftop tent um, we have we don't have a, a little battery bank yet um, you know like they have from like Goal Zero has the bigger battery banks banks uh, Jackery's got bigger battery, battery banks uh, thinking about getting one of those for when we go rooftop uh, tending, rooftop camping, just because we still want the, again, we need the power for all the stuff we need. Um, but a lot of the chargers we use need that, that, uh, that AC, I guess, the, the 240 volt, the big, the bigger one, the bigger amperage, the more power than just your DC, than just your USB can provide. And so that's really for like the drone, uh, the batteries themselves, there's no USB charger for it yet. There are battery, there are like a car chargers that we can do for it, but not the actual battery one that we can use through just straight through the flex seller. But after using it, um, it does add a, some more weight to your pack, obviously, especially if you're packing in or out. If you're car camping, it obviously doesn't matter about what you're at, you're not carrying it in. But this thing uh, is held up. We, again, we wanted it to have more power in the backcountry while we were hiking and backpacking for all the stuff we were charging. Um, it takes care of that, no issue, and really does not take up any more space than what we have been using. Um, and that was a big thing. So yeah, it does weigh a little bit more, but space-wise, it's, it's like packs down, like I said, eight and a half by 11 with about an inch thickness. It's not taking up crazy amount of room for what you're getting when you unfold it and you get all that 40 wattage coming in from the sun. So, um, so if you like uh, this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Comment, uh, have you used flexible sol these flexible solar panels before? Uh, are you more of that, you stick to those goal zero panels? Um, would, you, would, would you have a specific battery bank, battery bank that you would suggest, whether it's goal zero or jackery? Um, there is a new, another one called Blue Eddy, Blue Eddy, B L U E T D I, Blue Eddy, maybe, I don't know. There's a bunch of them out there, some of them we haven't heard of. Either way, comment down below which one do you think we should use, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.